Do you want to know how to create amazing smooth animations completely for free? No problem. I'm just a guy who makes anime alone only using my laptop. And you can do it too. So today I'm going to show you an amazing free software that you probably never heard of. And this software is called XR Animator. But before I'm going to show you the software and how to use it to make anime, let's actually start by talking about how you can get it for yourself. So in order to download XR Animator on your computer, all you need to do is to go to the GitHub page of the creator and download the zip file of the latest version of the software. And after it will finish downloading it, just go to your downloads folder and move the zip file to wherever you want to save it on your computer. And then, all you have left to do is to simply extract the files, and you're done. So now in order to open the software, simply open the XR Animator folder. And then, click on the folder called XR Animator Electron. And when you'll run the Electron file, it will immediately open up the XR Animator startup window. So if you want to play around with it using the default avatar, you can just go ahead and press the start button. But if you want to import your own character, simply go to where you saved it and drag the VRM file on the start button. And now when you'll press it, the software will immediately open with your character. And if you want to familiarize yourself with everything that this software is capable of doing, you can simply drag your mouse over each of the main buttons in the toolbar below, and you will immediately see short paragraphs explaining what each button is doing. But now, let's actually talk about making our animations. In general, there are two main methods of animating your character using this software. The first one is motion capture. So if you want to use this method of animation, you can simply start by double-clicking on the webcam and media button below. And after that, you will immediately get access to a new menu with four different options. So let's click on option number two in order for our character to mirror the movements from our video reference. And now it's time to choose how to import your video. And the simplest way to get the video reference for your motion capture is to just use your web camera. So let's just click on option number one, and now we can use our own body movements as our reference. So in order to actually start tracking your motions, just double click on the motion capture button below and choose the type of motion capture that you want to use. And after a few seconds of calibrating, you will be able to fully control your character using your web camera. And by the way, if you don't want to use your web camera, you can actually capture the motions of any video file that you'll import to XR Animator. So let's say for example, that you want your character to practice martial arts. So you can just go to Clipchamp, which is a free editing software that you can use in your web browser and under the graphics tab just type something like Kung Fu. And once you'll find something that works for you, just drag it to the timeline, adjust the aspect ratio, and render the video. Now you can go back to XR Animator, and then double click on Webcam and Media, and then just drag and drop the exported video from your downloads folder. And once you'll press on the local media file button, it will immediately capture the motions from this video, and your character will perform it in real time. But if you look from up close, you'll be able to see that the animations can come out a little janky. So this is why I'm actually not using this function that much. But lucky enough, I don't really think it is needed. Because there is actually another way to animate your character besides using motion capture. And this method is, to use pre-made 3D animations. And actually, this software comes with a large selection of pre-made poses and animations that you can use right away. So in order to access them, all you need to do is to double click on the pose button below. And now, you will immediately see the pose menu on the left and another menu next to it with some extra functions. And if you'll click on any of the options from the left menu, your character will switch between the poses that are listed there. And if you want to see more motions you can simply click on the next motions button on the right. You can also press it again and then you will also see the walking and running animations. But unfortunately, the problem with the walking and running animations is that your character stays in place while performing them which might be exactly what you need for some shots, but can be problematic if you want your character to actually move across the screen. So in order to allow your character to move freely in 3D space, you will need to activate another function called Explorer Mode. So in order to do that, you must first double click on the UI and Options button. And then, click on the Background, Scene and 3D button. And then pick the option called 3D Scene Builder. And after you'll do that, you will finally be able to see the Explorer Mode function below. But if you'll try to activate it, nothing will happen. This is because in order for your character to move in 3D space, you must first import a 3D environment for your character to explore. So what I like to do is to import an invisible 3D plane that I've made previously. And you can also make something similar yourself pretty much in every 3D modeling software out there. And then just drag it down to XR Animator to create your 3D environment. So after activating it and closing the menu, you will be able to move your character by pressing the WASD keys on your keyboard. 
And if you don't like the idle and running animations, you can simply change them by double-clicking on the pose button again and selecting different poses and animations. And now if you want, you can broadcast the body animations to another software like VC Face to get better control of your character's facial expressions. Or maybe broadcasting it to another software like DSS to get better control over your scene and camera position and to finally export 4K videos. And you can do all of that by simply activating the VMC protocol function. And now when you load up your character in a different software and activate its VMC protocol too, your character will immediately perform the motions from XR Animator in the new software. But now it's time to tell you about what I consider to be the most amazing thing that you can do with XR Animator. But before that, please consider taking one second of your time to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach the goal of 1000 subscribers so I can get this channel monetized and make more videos like this in the future. So anyway, the thing that I consider to be the most amazing and useful thing that you can do with this software is to be able to import pre-made FBX motions directly into XR Animator. And it is so simple to do it that all you need to do is to just drag and drop the motions to the software and your character will immediately perform it. So in order to get access to a huge library of free motions, all you need to do is to simply go to a website called Mixamo.com. Over there you can just log in with your Google account, and then you can choose and download whatever motion you want from their massive collection. After that, you can simply open up your downloads folder, and then just drag and drop the motion into XR Animator, and you're done. And if you want something more specific, you can easily combine these animations with the motion capture option to create almost everything you can think of. And of course there are a lot of other things that you can do with this software, like importing 360 images as backgrounds, exploring 3D environments, or even switching to selfie mode. So go ahead and try it for yourself. And if you need any help using it or have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. See you later!